Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to another quick video on Forgotten Weapons. This probably actually is going to end up being longer than I planned, but I am here in this incredibly cool Dutch firearms collection that I had the chance to come to and uh, take a look at and do some filming in thanks to you guys who are watching and you guys on Patreon who help make this possible. So I am in Europe right now, traveling around, I'm visiting some museums and some private collections, and the fellow who owns this collection thought it would be really cool to show the whole collection on film. So let's take a look through. So starting in the back here, we have some handgun cabinets, and this traces the progression of Dutch military sidearms from flintlocks through percussion guns into revolvers, and we have some of the early large black powder revolvers going into the 1890s, so the smokeless powder revolvers, the police revolvers, and then some of the Dutch semi-auto pistols, a lot of FNs in there, various other nationalities of pistol over here, all sorts of stuff. There's a Verder lightning pistol up there. That's pretty cool. Ooh, a well rod. This is quite the collection, as you can tell. There we go, a Bergman. Everyone loves Bergmans. Now, taking a look on the wall, we have some of the more modern guns, a couple of AR-10s, a couple of SIGs, and then a progression of submachine guns family of Stens. Uh, let's see, what else do we have in there? A ZK-383, Moss 38. Down at the bottom there is an Austen. That's the Australian version. It's a Sten gun with a vertical front grip and an MP40-like stock. Um, traditionally not considered to be the world's greatest submachine gun. A couple of Suomis. Uh, we also have a Swedish Suomi right there, a 3739. We have a full video coming on that one. Beretta, MP44. Well, you don't see those everywhere, do you? And then German submachine guns through and including the MP40. Let's continue around. We have some earlier pistols in the case. Vickers. Here is the French section of the collection, French rifles. We have a 1917 self-loader, a couple of Bells, Berthiers. There's a uh, Schutz and Larsen, very cool World War II Danish rifle, and a whole variety of interesting cartridge firing and percussion guns. I don't even have the ability to describe what everything in here is. G41s, so here's the, here's the German section. We have Mausers, top and bottom. Another assortment down here, some Arasakas. We have a Thai Arasaka carbine right there. Now this being the Netherlands, there is a substantial collection of Dutch firearms, which are going to start in these rows. Swiss first, of course, here. More Swiss on the bottom. Oh look, it's a Browning M2 and a Vickers, but moving on. We have a bunch of FN Mausers down here. A lot of these are Dutch. Dutch Monikers. A variety of other Dutch earlier rifles. It's a little bit hard to get really good footage in here because I can't get far enough away from all of the guns. We have some American guns, a rolling block carbine. We have an Evans rifle there, that's really cool. A bunch of US Civil War era carbines. A Lee pattern carbine. On the bottom here, we have a row of light machine guns, a Brita, a Bren, another Bren. 
that, M14, BAR, a Fal O, and a Lewis gun. That, of course, is a Dutch Lewis gun. Very cool. Soviet or communist bloc rifles. And moving up this side, Swedish. We have a Jungmann, a bunch of Swedish Mausers. A 1914 Hotchkiss, of course. Everyone needs a Hotchkiss. Italian, so some Vetterlies. That's a really cool Vetterly carbine there in the front. Austrian rifles. Steyr monikers. This is interesting. This, just point that out. The sights, uh, when they change from one cartridge to another, they bolted on some new sight gradations. There's a Guedes Portuguese rifle. British. And a particular specialty here are a number of British Trials rifles. So we did some video specifically on a couple of these. There's a, uh, a Fosbury single shot rifle. All manner of cool stuff. And that's without even looking closely at all the accessories. Goodness, there's even one more rack here. Well, the owner of this collection, of course, does want to preserve his anonymity, but was very generous to let me spend a day in here filming a bunch of his guns. So you can look forward to seeing a bunch of those videos coming up shortly on Forgotten Weapons. Thank you very much for watching, and thanks to everyone on Patreon who makes this travel possible.